but um, at the moment I can't show cutscenes or any story stuff because I don't want to ruin the game anyway. Because uh, the game isn't out yet; it's still uh, it's not out for like another week yet. So, hence I did not show you. So, now we're moving forward. Just got to try and get out of here without being seen. Um, so you can literally see stuff over there. You can burst that that wall pipe thing over there. Uh, bang! <laughs> it just like blows like steam, I think, or something, and it just distracts them when they get oh no, my face. And it, it's quite funny. It's hilarious actually. So there's a guy located down there. It's a forklifter as well. I was exposed to that, so it's all a slight distraction. I think someone saw me briefly Jesus. on the left, but I think we're, I think we're okay. I hope so, anyway. Do I actually die on this one? I think I might even die on this one, actually. I'm not sure. Oh, 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 oh. That's it. Take him out in the head. Oh, there's a nice shot. He sort of goes through his neck. Like, oh, I, like, the enemies, actually, sorry, the enemies, like the guards and stuff, are actually quite intelligent. So I'm going to open the gate and just make a quick escape and just get out of here. Um, so you can decide to kill all the guards and that will end the mission, or you can decide to escape the area. I've gone for the escape option, so I'm going to try and jump in the car and just literally try and get out nice and quick as nice and quick as humanly possible and just zoom on out of here. Bang, just destroy someone's poor car in front. So once you get inside the vehicle, it actually accesses the vehicle so you can unlock it later on, so you can uh, basically you can call for a vehicle. Um, up you call up this guy, I won't mention the name, you can call up this guy and you can basically get a free vehicle, which is awesome. So it will come to like where you are and you basically unlock them by going inside the vehicle or you can hack into people's phones and stuff. You unlock vehicles you can basically use in the game, which is awesome. Which is very, very nice. So this is like one of the um, performance cars and it's actually very, very quick and very, very cool. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the mission. That's the mission over. I've escaped and that is done. And now we move on to the, uh, basically it's showing the profile okay, system within the game. So you press square or the X button on the 360 and it'll bring up this nice little profile system which has actually got the name, um, like a little outline of what's happening and also their age, the occupation and income. Income and, why have they got my income for? It's quite scary, but this is basically a tool on his phone. You can uh, basically just detect people's faces and get loads of information about them, which is actually quite scary. And it's actually quite relevant as well because... I mean, we've got cameras everywhere in this sort of environment and world we're living in at the moment. Cameras everywhere, we've got Google like tracking our emails and phone numbers and stuff, and it's it's a little bit weird and quite relevant and quite scary, but it, it definitely does sort of bring home some of the sort of the sort of scary bits about security in some ways. It's it's a little bit odd, but anyway. But it's basically, certain things have uh, like a blue square, which will bring up uh, a way of like a, basically making a submission. So this guy's saying, "Dude, what's the matter? Uh, she ruined me." She won't get away with it. So something's happened like a cheating, perhaps she's cheated or something, or they get crazy, calm down man. Screw that. I'm not getting not letting them get, get away with it, to come and speak. But you got you get the, the gist of it. So the crime detected. You can decide uh, whether you want to go with the crime or whether you want to just ignore it.